let's take a look at the concept of equal work. Equal Pay Act cases often hinge on whether the plaintiff can show that she and the comparator performed substantially equal work. The two jobs do not have to be identical or carry the same job title, however. The duties and tasks performed as part of the two jobs must overlap substantially. At this point, the Equal Pay Act incorporates the logic of job evaluation. Job evaluation is a systematic process for rating jobs in terms of certain compensable factors. The requirements of jobs, rather than the performance of individuals, are the basis of job evaluations. Jobs that are rated higher are more demanding and valuable to employers and tend to be paid more. The Equal Pay Act cites four compensable factors to be used in determining whether jobs are substantially equal, skill, effort, responsibility, and working conditions. Skill refers to what one needs to know to be able to perform the job. Effort is the amount of physical and mental exertion required by the job. Responsibility refers to such things as accountability for outcomes, supervisory duties, and involvement in important decisions. Working conditions under the Equal Pay Act refers to hazards, how dangerous the job is in terms of physical demands, and surroundings, elements such as fumes or outside work in cold weather. For jobs to be substantially equal, there must be a significant commonality in duties, levels of required skill, effort and responsibility, and of working conditions.